Richard, the Anglo Welsh Cup continues this weekend. Bath at the Liberty Stadium on Friday night. They're a team you'd expect to see coming down fully loaded with a semi final place up for grabs. So it's going to be another real test for this young group. Yeah, and I think it's something that we're excited about as well. That, uh, like you said, Bath are top in their table, I think. And it's going to be a big test for us to come, come Friday. Uh, they probably will come down with a strong outfit and probably look to bully us. But I think with uh, the experience we gained from last week, I think the boys learned quite a bit and hopefully can put into a really good performance come Friday night. We talked about last weekend, it was very pleasing to watch such a young team going toe to toe with a really experienced, really heavy, really strong, glossy team with plenty of know how and really pushed them all the way you know, before they actually managed to pull away the last couple of minutes. It was something that everybody involved in the hospice can take great satisfaction in. Yeah, you look at that squad, you know, 16 of the, of the 23, they had less than 20 appearances for the Ospreys, you know, and you know, we had a couple of 17-year-olds playing for us and and the value they gain and experience from that um, from that game will uh, stand them in good stead come, come the future, you know, and I think it bodes well for us. You're looking at, at that Ospreys team that we put out last Friday and, um, you know, we see this competition as, as development for these boys and it was great exposure to play against a full, full, full Gloucester outfit and um, the boys did, did well, they did themselves, um, did themselves proud. You're loath to say it because it's very much a cliche when teams lose matches, but mm. sometimes it's not just about the result, performance can mean an awful lot more. Yeah, it can, and um, it's a big step up for some of these youngsters. They, they, you know, a few of them are coming from age grade rugby, they're coming up to uh, their full senior debuts, and um, for them to get uh, an opportunity in King's on there, uh, there's a lot of them to learn. So we had a really good training week last week, uh, good prep going into the game, and I thought those boys who, um, who trained for the younger ones, they came up and they delivered for us. With an eye on the backs in particular, what do you make of performances of young men like Kai, Callum, Tian, who got on and got some really, really great exposure for people at such a young age? Oh, look, it's fantastic for those boys. Um, like I said, to play in, in, the, in the venue of King's Home, to play against a full Gloucester outfit, have people like James Hook around them, Luke Price, um, experienced boys within the Ospreys uh, and they can just learn from, from what they've seen around them and you can see how those boys carry themselves and how they, they transfer the stuff they do in training into games and I think hopefully that they can only emulate that and it'll bode them well in the future. As a coach I suppose the message is the same for you as well in terms of the exposure you get stepping up a level, you've done the BNI Cup when you're involved in the Anglo-Welsh and it's really it's more valuable experience for yourself as you continue developing as a coach. Yeah, these boxer games have been great for like myself, myself, Tom, uh, Bish and Dunk because like we've had the Bick, Bick which has flowed into Anglo Welsh. So we've had a nice block of games here, and we've had that opportunity to keep the squad rolling through those games and um, just get that experience and that momentum building through this competition. And we've had um, the opportunity as well for these boys just to con continue through, keep the same squads, and uh, added real value to the group. I'm getting all political now. You look to the future and BNI Cup seems to be on its way out. Question marks over the future of the Anglo-Welsh. Whatever the shape of the season next year, it's important there's opportunities for these boys to continue developing against higher level opposition. Yeah, and I think it's important for us to put something in place there. Um, whatever that may be, there needs to be a competition in place for these boys to, um, to, be, to be at. You know, There's a level there which I think uh, players need to play so they can have that um, easier transition into Pro 14 rugby or even European rugby and um, you know whatever the outcome may be I'm not sure but whatever competition is going to be in place would be great for these youngsters and something that allows them to train and play together as well is important yeah it is and these boys train you know as well as the other regions they train the way that their regions train now we want to allow these boys to put that into practice so something that could be put in place whether it be a, a league or whatever they give these boys that opportunity to do that yeah.